What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to graph exponential growth and decay functions and also identify their domain and range, right? So we're going to go over a quick little intro and do a couple examples. So this is the most basic equation for an exponential growth or decay function and it's just f of x is equal to b raised to the x or you'll see it as y is equal to b raised to the x as well. Now b over here, uh, this number tells us if it's exponential growth or decay. Okay, so b, it's just a number, and if that number is bigger than one, then it's exponential, or this function is an exponential growth function. So an exponential growth function would look something like that. Okay, so you can see it's sloping in the positive direction that way, right? And it always runs through the same point right here at zero, one. And that's the case whenever there's no transformations. Okay, now, on the other hand, if this number b, if b is somewhere between one and zero, so if it's a decimal or a fraction that's between zero and one, then that would indicate an exponential decay function. And decay, you would think, you know, slopes downward like that. So that's exactly what this one does. So it would slope down uh, like that. Okay, and this one also goes through the exact same point right here, which is at zero, one. Okay, now both of these graphs have an asymptote on the x-axis. Okay, so that just means that neither of these two graphs ever touch the x-axis. It gets really, really close, but never actually touches, okay? And now let's talk about the domain and range. So the domain and the range is the same for both of these. So the domain for both of these, you, uh, there's two different ways we could write it. We could say it's all real numbers, all real x values. So we can say all real numbers, we can write it like that. Or we could just say uh, in interval notation, it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, okay? And for the range, for both of them, again, they're the exact same. It's just y is greater than zero, okay? So there's your quick little intro. Now let's just go over a couple examples. All right, here's the first example. So here we have y is equal to two raised to the x. So is this exponential growth or decay? Well, this number right here, our b, you can see it's bigger than one, so that means this function is an exponential growth function, right? So we know it's gonna look something like that, okay? But let's actually graph some points, okay? And to do that, we can just make an x, y table right here. Now, uh, we already know one of the points, right? So I told you it always goes through the same point over here at zero comma one. So we know one point right now is zero one. Now let's just graph a couple points to the left and to the right. So let's say uh, negative two, negative one, one and two. Okay, so starting with negative two, if we plug that in for x over here, we're gonna get that y is equal to two raised to the negative two which is equal to one over two squared, which is equal to one fourth. Okay, so then we get one fourth right here. Now let's plug in negative one. So we will get that y is equal to two raised to the negative one. So this is gonna be equal to one over two raised to the positive one, which is just equal to one half, All right? So then we have one half right there. And then these two right here, uh, we're going to get y is equal to 2 raised to the first power, which is just equal to 2. And then y is equal to 2 raised to the second power, which is equal to 4, right? Cool. So we got a few points here. So let's plot them really quick. So negative 2, uh, 1 fourth would be right here. Negative 1, 1 half is right there. 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 4, okay? So then you can see that we're gonna get really close to the x-axis, but we're never really gonna touch it. And then we kind of just take off right here, off into the sunset. Okay, and again, you can see we have an asymptote on the x-axis, which is why we don't touch the x-axis. And the domain is still the same, so we can say all real numbers uh, like that, or from negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range, again, is y is greater than zero. All right, let's try one more here. So this is f of x is equal to one half raised to the x. So you can see our b number right here is between zero and one. So that means this represents exponential decay, right? So we're gonna expect our graph to look something like that going downward. 
Okay, but again, to actually graph it, we can just graph a few points. So again, we can just make a little XY table like that. We already know one of the points, right? It's at zero, one right there. So we can put that in zero, one, and then just a couple spots to the left and to the right. So we can say again, negative two, negative one, one and two, all right? So now let's plug in our X values here. So for the first one, and sorry, let me fix this. Instead of Y, to be a little more accurate, this should say F of X, right? Okay, so let's plug in negative two. So F of X is going to be equal to one half raised to the negative two. So this is gonna be equal to one over, and then this whole thing goes in the denominator, right? So one half raised to the positive two, okay? Now to simplify the bottom over here, whenever you have a fraction raised to an exponent, you apply the, the exponent to the top and the bottom, right? So we'll basically have one squared over two squared, which is equal to uh, one over four. Okay, so that's the denominator. And on top, we still have this one up here. Okay, now in order to divide by a fraction, we can just multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so we have this one on top. So it's gonna be one times the reciprocal, which is four over one, right? So four over one, which is just equal to four. Okay, so then we just get a four right here. Okay, and then let's make a little room to solve for the next one. So if we plug in a negative one up here, f of x is going to be equal to one half raised to the negative one, which is equal to one over, and then this whole thing again in the denominator is gonna be one half raised to the positive one. And anything raised to the first power is just itself, right? So this is just equal to one over one half. And then again, in order to divide by a fraction, we can just multiply by the reciprocal, right? So we'll first write this one. So one times the reciprocal is two over one. So this is just equal to two. Okay, cool. Now, uh, just a couple more, and these are gonna be a lot easier. So now f of x is going to be equal to one half raised to the first power, which is just equal to one half. And then here, uh, we're gonna get that f of x is equal to one half raised to the second power. So again, apply it to the top and the bottom, we'll get one fourth. All right, cool. So we got a few points here, let's plot them really quick. So negative two, four, negative one, two, zero, one is there, uh, one, one half, and two, one fourth, right there, All right? So let's play connect the dots. I'm trying to be super careful. Okay, close enough, boom. All right, pretend it doesn't touch the X axis right here, right? Cause we have our asymptote. Okay, and lastly, the domain and range, right? So the domain, again, we can say all real numbers or from negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range, once again, is y is greater than zero. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.